All right. Good morning, everybody. I only have a few minutes till I get to work. <coughs> oh, one of our friends, excuse me, one of our friends here was asking about some very difficult passages in the in the Talmud that seem to be quite troubling, and there are many, many such instances of that to the point where obviously people who are not happy with Jews or with Judaism uh, like to point those out to the world and, and write books about them and, and, and uh, publish these things to make it appear that the Jews uh, or practitioners of Judaism in particular are uh, amoral and, uh, and, and a threat to society. And I pointed out there, I remember many years ago, I was a rabbi in Richmond, Virginia, and I was speaking to a group of senior citizens at the Jewish Community Center there. And one of the women asked about a, a lot of very misogynistic sounding things in the Talmud. And I, I gave an answer. It's not, we don't have time to answer that. And this woman asked me, she said, why don't, you know, this woman who attended a Reformed temple or a conservative temple, I, I think a conservative temple, and she said, why doesn't the Talmud have a commentary on the bottom like how the, how the, uh, the Chumash does, how, how the Bible does, and the, the Jewish Bible does? And I said, if you ever, have you ever seen a page of the Talmud? She said, no. She just heard, you know, from people who were discrediting it. I said, the whole most of the page is, is the commentary, right? And the, and the Talmud itself is a commentary on, on the Mishnah, uh, uh, you know? So, um, you know, the, just the ignorance that people have, it goes back to, there was, uh, I think, a court case where someone was, was discrediting the Talmud and they asked him, you know, who was Baba Kama, which was the name of one of the books of the Talmud, and he said, oh, he was a great sage who lived at a certain time. There was no person named Baba Kama. Right, Baba Kama is, is the name of one of the one of the tractates of the Talmud. Uh, you know the the arrogance of ignorance. Uh, the answer that the, uh, so uh, quite often when you see something very distasteful, you look what does Rashi say, what the taste was saying. They bring what the Talmud says elsewhere, and gives us the answer, and, and then uh, ultimately we follow what the halacha says. What does what does the Shulchan Aruch say, and so forth. So the point that I'm saying here is uh, what, something that the Talmud says. The words of the Torah are poor in one place and rich in another place. Meaning if you don't have the full context and also a bikiyas, a, a full knowledge of the, of the Talmud and all the sources and everything, you're going to wind up... Uh, you know, with with a lot of misinformation um, and and taking things out of context, because a lot of the discussions in the Talmud are meant to be in the matter of discussion. We we look at this point to take that point and bring it around, and so you have one statement out of context, it makes the whole thing look pretty bad. Um, but that's because the words of Torah poor in one place and rich in another place. You need a holistic approach to really understand. Thank you for watching. God bless. Please like, share, and subscribe, comment, and we'll see you later.